This is the Shibuya Terminal. What do you want to do, Master? Activating transport mode. Burrows. Stop there, young man. Back there is the sacred ground of the Ring of Gaia. Not just anyone can enter. You should be on your way. That's right, it's for your own good. Stop there, young man. <laughs> well, you're honest, I'll give you that much. How about I test you to see if you have what it takes? Just be a young man, but I can see you've been through hell. Your sword work was top notch. All right, you can pass. But you won't be able to kill Lady Yuriko like that. Why don't you build some strength with us? Go take the entrance test at Tsukiji Honganji. Not just anyone can enter. You should be on your way. You're pretty eager, I see. I like that. How about I test you to see if you have what it takes? You may just be a kid, but I can see you've been through hell. Your sword work was top notch. All right, you can pass. You should go take the entrance test at Tsukiji Honganji. Looks like the quest is going well.
Burroughs. This is the head temple of the Ring of Gaia. You here to join the Ring too? <laughs> There've been so many of you lately, it's been a headache keeping track of you all. You probably only want to ride the Ring of Gaia's coattails. Go back to the underground districts and wag your tails for Tayama like the dogs you are. I'm no one's dog. Oh yeah? Then take our entrance test. We'll see whether you've got the stones to back up those words. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. I sent the electronic application to your terminal. Sign it, and bring it to me. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. I've registered this one as a challenge quest. You don't need to say it. I can see it in your eyes. You didn't sign the application, did you? Sign it and bring it to me. Did you accept your challenge quest? Check your gauntlet. need to say it. I can tell you signed the application. So let me explain how the test goes. The idea is to reach the main temple before this candle burns out. The candle depletes as time passes during battle. Also, this ain't a group effort. You all gotta take it separately. I would rather not, but for the sake of our captive fellow, I wish you all good luck. May we meet again in the main temple. All right, it's your turn. Head for the main temple. so that you can see the status of your candle. It'll be visible when you open the menu and during battle. Show them what you've got, Master. Oh-ho! I see you've come this far with the flame intact. The main temple you're looking for is right in front of you. But if you want to pass, you must prove your strength to me. Are you ready? You hesitate after coming so far. Pitiful. Have you finally come to a decision? I tire of waiting. The main temple you're looking for... 
Are you ready? You must use all your might to defeat this demon. If your might is not enough, then there will be nothing left but bones. I shall gauge your true power that shines only on the verge of death. Well done. That makes four of you. Samurai from the firmament. It seems you are a force to be reckoned with. Now proceed. Burrows. Ah, you arrived. I managed to scrape by as well. It seems we all made it. The test is at an end. You have all passed. You won't be needing those candles any longer. The skills you display today were a marvel to behold. Though, of course, we expect you to be that strong. Otherwise, you would not be allowed near Lady Yuriko. You were sent by Tayama, yes? What? I fractured my bottom. Uh, are the rest of you unhurt? Ouch. Yes, I'm still in one piece. Normally those who threaten the Ring of Gaia are put down by force. You have Lady Yuriko to thank for this mercy. Now, travel through the passage of ethics and meet Lady Yuriko. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. She knew our motives, yet she still invited us in. But will we be allowed to leave? Have faith, Isabeau. All shall be well. You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. Now, for the question. 
You are the ruler of a country. You have called upon your people to gather en masse for a game. Among those who attend, one is extraordinarily tall. What would you do? If you would exclude this person for the sake of fairness, go right. If you accept that one's height is merely a part of their individuality and include this person, go left. But that's dead simple. A man can't help being tall. Of course you'd have to accept it. I'm going left. Hmm, but then it would be unsporting to the others for the heights to be so grossly uneven. I would go right. It's not an easy decision. Which would you choose? Would you go left and accept the person for who they are? Or go right and disqualify them for the good of all? You would disallow the tall person for the sake of the game. You would allow this person to participate, regardless of their individual height. You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. Now, for the question. You are the chief of a village which has lived the same way for 1,000 years. One day, a man visits your village, carrying with him revolutionary technology. This technology would greatly ease your people's lives, but would also do away with their current lifestyle. What would you do? Go right if you would expel the visitor in order to preserve the lifestyle you have always known. Go left if you would welcome the visitor in order to adopt his technology for your village. Hmm, new technology is quite tempting. But I do not think it worth upending the stability of a culture and causing confusion amongst the people. I shall go right. Don't be so hasty, Jonathan. Give the matter more thought. Life for all the villagers would be improved. One must take risks in order for one to see progress. Were it up to me, I'd go left. Another difference of opinion. Is Yuriko attempting to drive a wedge between our band? I hesitate to be the one to decide this time, either. Which would you choose? Right, to protect the traditional way of life? Or left, to welcome the new technology? You would welcome the visitor to usher in the new technology? Would expel the visitor to protect the village's way of life? You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. This is the final inquiry. Now for the question. The love of your life lies in front of you unconscious. There is no hope that they will ever wake again. You have already tried many things to no avail. 
What would you do? If you would care for this person for the rest of your life, go right. If you would stop all treatment and allow this person to perish naturally, go left. I think it would be best to let them die. But on the other hand, it's someone very dear to you, isn't it? <sighs> Damn! That's a choice I can't make. We are in agreement on that point, Walter. I can't decide either. These questions are all so unpleasant. Which would you choose? Left? Letting your beloved die? Or right? Committing to staying at their side for the rest of your life? You would spend the rest of your life trying to keep that person alive. You would let your dearest beloved die a natural death? Do you see more clearly what kind of human you are now? <laughs> I didn't think that I'd meet subjects of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado here. You're the Black Samurai! Why are you here? She truly still lives. <laughs> Enough with the formalities. We're all acquainted with each other, yes? So you can call me Yuriko. Yuriko? You're Yuriko? Wow, that's a shock. Hmm, that means... Kill the Black Samurai and kill Yuriko. They're the same quest. <sighs> Tis an ill twist of fate, our task and Tayama's wishes dovetailing so. Are you going to kill me, the way Tayama and Gabby coerced you to? And if not, what will you do? <laughs> I am Lilith. I have observed this world from before the birth of your species. The Black Samurai. She's a demon. Then it was by a demon's hand that the foul books were carried into our kingdom. You are a monster who reduced our countrymen to base demons. And I shall have your head for it! Since you seem incapable of subtlety, let me explain something to you. It wasn't me who changed them into demons. It's the natural result of humans suppressing their desires. Do you mean to say that humans and demons are the same in essence? Exactly. It isn't demons you should hate. Pay no heed to this nonsense, Isabeau. Listen, children of man. You have witnessed it. You have seen yourself the emotions of the people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado as they became demons. Those absurd rules created to bend the ignorant to their will. That is what you humans should reserve your hatred for. Absurd rules? I simply want to restore the human world to its natural order. A state unbound by the whims of rulers, where the strong can shape the world as they please. Tokyo. And of course, your eastern kingdom of Mikado as well. I'll waste not one word rebutting this blasphemy. I shall smite you now! Hold, Jonathan. Yuriko. Or rather, Lilith. This talk of a world which the strong can reshape as they see fit. In such a world, provided that he had the strength, could a casualty do as he pleased? Walter, 
I warned you against allowing her words purchase. We are here to strike her down. Demon, prepare yourself! Walter! I said to stay your hand, Jonathan. What? Lilith, this world, how would you bring it about? You have an important role, not as samurai, but as humans. We have a role? First, gain knowledge and wisdom. You know of the hills in Roppongi, yes? There is a facility below ground there, run by Tayama. Go and have a look for yourselves. You will see there what true evil is. But if that doesn't sway your opinion, then I'll be happy to stand as your adversary. My friends, I am sorry, but refrain from killing Yuriko until I return. Walter, what are you saying? I must know what this true evil is, and what true role we humans have to play. Those are lies from the honeyed lips of a demon. Humanity has no true role. In all my 18 years, there's one thing I've never once considered. Changing the world. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. swords with one of our fellows that Walter together today, huh? Did you have an argument? What were you discussing with Walter? Out with it! He wanted to go under Rapungi, so I told him about someone who might know how to get there. He's a guy called Fujiwara in Shijuku. Okay, I'll be going now. Oh, that's right! If you run into him, tell him that Florida is a members-only cafe. That matchbox proves you're a member. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. Hope you find him. Terminal. What do you want to do, Master? Activating transport mode.
come now. You must hear me out. I'll ask one question and then leave peaceably. Proof of membership? Are you deaf, man? I, I only need a moment of Fujiwara's time, please. Proof of membership? Walter, so he did come here. Are you going to go to Walter's aid? You've quite a cold heart, don't you? Are you going to go to Walter's aid? Truly? Sorry, sir. Please, come in. Hi there. You're... Why the devil are you here? Are these the people you were talking about, Hikaru? They sure are. So, Medusa still being alive was one of the Ashurakai's lies after all. We already know about most of your accomplishments. You passed through Naruku, right? Did you hit up the terminal in there? How do you know about that? You mean the place above the firmament, the eastern kingdom of Mikado, right? I know a little. We were still young then, weren't we, Skins? <laughs> Thanks to those days, I'm better at stitching up wounds than your average sawbones. Pardon, but I didn't come here to make idle conversation. I want to talk with Fujiwara. You want to go below Ropongi, right? Fujiwara's me. Oh! Uh, g g greetings! I don't mind giving you some info, but do you mind if I speak my piece a little first? Like, I'm curious. You people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, and those of us here in Tokyo, do you think we could ever coexist? That's a poser you put to me so suddenly, but uh, I don't think it out of the question. Speaking purely from intuition, I feel like it would be a difficult proposition. What about you? Do you think we could live in harmony? Hmm, I see. Do you think we could live in harmony? Interesting. Fujiwara, sir. Could you kindly elaborate on the purpose of the question? You shouldn't believe that everyone living in Tokyo now is happy with their situation. Life here takes a lot out of you. A lot of people are searching for somewhere to live in peace. What do you suppose those people will do when they hear about you? They're all set out for the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. Naraku will be flooded with humans from Tokyo. What are you driving at? I'll be frank here. We're seriously considering emigrating to the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. What? You'd come to our kingdom? <laughs> but we don't plan on just barging in like a bunch of barbarians. Yeah, I'd rather not add to the collection of scars on my face. When the time comes, could you tell the leaders of your kingdom about us? The time? Let's leave it at that, Fujiwara. They're here for a reason. Ah, of course. Sorry. Below the hills in Roppongi, right? Below the Midtown Center in Tokyo is a way to get to the underside of Roppongi. If you want to get under the hills, you'll need to go through Midtown. But Tayama set a demon at Midtown to block the way. Be careful, Samurai. <sighs> Walter, let us go there together. The demons of Tokyo are too much for one man to handle alone. I suppose. Burrows.